Hey guys, welcome to the Build Studio. My name's Chris, and on this channel, we focus on 3D printing, laser engraving, and all kinds of DIY crafts using technology. In today's video, G-Tech reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in testing out their Alcade 2K LCD light curing resin 3D printer. This printer is a budget-friendly and entry-level resin 3D printer for those of you who want to get into 3D printing without spending a large amount of money. Now this is not a sponsored video, but they did send this to me to test out and review. So you can expect that we'll unbox, set it up, and test print our first print using this 3D printer so you know what to expect if you buy it, and also if this is a good printer for your money. So stay tuned. Okay, so this Alcade 2K resin 3D printer was sent to me by G-Tech to review. So let's start by unboxing this to see what we get. Now just a note, G-Tech did also send me a bottle of their water washable resin as well. So that's something else we'll test and review in this video as well. Okay, so it looks like you do get a user manual, which again is very detailed and is pretty nice looking. Uh, you'll also get a thank you card from G-Tech themselves, just thanking you for the purchase, uh, which also gives you the option to join the G-Tech 3D Printers Club, which is probably a club that they have for support, guidance, sharing of information, and in other information. So that's something that's pretty nice. You get your power cord. You also get your tools uh, that you're going to need. So you've got your scraper for removing your prints. Looks like you got a little pair of tweezers as well. You get a USB key, which I assume has uh, digital versions of the user manual, as well as probably some sample print files, the printer profile and other things. So we'll take a look at that. You get your hex key or hex screw, whatever you want to call this, your Allen wrench, uh, which will probably be needed to tighten the print bed. And then you get two bolts, which I assume are going to be used to hold down the resin tray. So those are the accessories. And again, the packaging is pretty nice and secure just to make sure it keeps the printer safe. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to turn it on its side and pull it out because it's enclosed in foam, probably. Okay, and then enclosed in the foam is the printer itself, as well as your power brick, which you plug this power cable into. And then the printer itself. Okay, we'll take the UV cover off. Slide the build tray off as well as the resin tray. Take off the little plastic on each side, protecting the tray itself. We'll just put this aside and then take the LCD screen cover off. Now, if you want, there are separate LCD protectors that you can buy, uh, probably from Amazon, which I'll also link in the description below. So you can protect this LCD screen. Okay, so assembly should be pretty uh, straightforward. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you, well, these already come pre-loosened, so that's pretty nice. But you're gonna wanna make sure this is loose. And then put it back on top of the build screen. Put it back, uh, screw it down. Okay, so before we set this thing up, let's talk a little bit about the printer itself. So according to the specs, the printer itself is 286 by 226 by 372 millimeters in size. It weighs about 4.2 kilograms and has a print size of 82 by 130 by 190 millimeters. Now in addition to that, the LCD itself has a print resolution of 2560 by 1620 pixels. So you will get some pretty good quality 2K prints from this printer at a very affordable price. It's also got this tilted angle 6.08 inch LCD touchscreen, which makes it easy to control and view what's happening on the printer itself. 
Now from a print perspective, the specs do say that it has a print speed of about 30 millimeters per hour, but I do think that you can enhance that by adjusting some of the settings itself. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and set this thing up and then test out our first test print. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna wanna plug this in uh, because you're gonna have to level the print bed itself. So we will just plug this into the back and then plug it into power. So right off the bat, based on first impressions, this 3D printer from G-Tech is pretty much like most other 3D printers uh, when it comes to design. You've got your UV cover, which is made of, of some hard plastic. You've got your machine grade aluminum parts um, that are built onto a plastic base. And then you've got your plastic uh, resin tray. But what's nice about this resin tray is it does have levels. So as you pour resin in, you know how much you're putting into it and how much you have left. Uh, so basically when you've seen one resin 3D printer, you've pretty much seen them all from a design perspective. I don't think they vary much from a design perspective. So now that this is plugged in, you're going to want to make sure the build plate itself is tightened at the top to the uh, raising arm. And then you're going to want to power this thing on. So we'll power it on. And you do get a color LCD screen and it is a touch screen, which is nice. Noise wise or sound wise, it's not too loud. Okay, so typically when setting this up, the first thing you want to do is put the build plate back on, make sure it's secure, make sure the screws on the sides are loose because you're going to want to level the build plate. So for that, all you got to do is take a piece of paper, stick it on there, and then we will go to manual, press home, and you're going to home the build plate. And once it's done, you're going to want to press and hold the build plate down and then screw in the bolts to make sure they're tight and secure. Just to make you sure you've got a leveled build plate. Okay, once that's done, just make sure it's secure. And then you're going to raise this up, press it a couple times. Then while it's going up, you're gonna take the extra two screws Take your resin tray, slide it in, and then secure it down. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna go back. Once you've done all that, you're gonna put the UV cover back on, and you have the option to download the, the Chittabox software, which you know is gonna be the software you're gonna use to set up your 3D prints and send them to the printer itself and prepare them for the printer itself. Um, but I think for the purpose of this, we might just be testing and seeing what's on the USB key and doing the test print that way. So let's see if it does include any kind of software or samples. So there is only one file on here or one sample file on here called the lion. So what we'll do is we'll take this off, the cover off, and we will take the water washable resin that G-Tech sent us and we'll do test print the sample file that comes with the printer itself. Okay, so again with resin, you're gonna wanna be careful and wear gloves as well as maybe a mask or be in a well-ventilated area um, when you're messing with resin and 3D printing. Okay, so this is UV sensitive wavelength, 450 millimeter of 3D printing UV resin. So this is water washable resin and this is from G-Tech themselves. So we'll test and see how good this resin is uh, when we do this print. You can immediately smell the resin already. Okay, so we'll probably pour about, we'll start at about 120 milliliters. I'm just gonna raise the bed a little bit. Now I'm not sure, but on the website, it also says this is a curing uh, 3D printer, but I don't think it does the curing. You're probably gonna have to cure it using a curing machine or, you know, just outdoor sunlight. 
Okay, so now that that's set up, we'll go ahead and start the 3D print. So we'll select the lion and then we will click the play button and let it start printing. So based on first impressions, the printer itself is very compact, it's very durable, and it's super quiet. So we'll let it do its thing, and then we'll check on it once in a while, but then we'll come back when it's done doing its 3D print. So we'll share with you some time-lapse footage of the print itself. Uh, what I do like is on the screen, it does show you what's being printed and the progress as well. So you get a pre pretty detailed view of where the print is and what it's doing. Um, so I do like the fact that it does have that display on the screen itself. But we'll let it print, we'll do some time lapse and then we'll come back when this is done and I'll give you my opinion. Okay, so because it was getting late, I did go ahead and let this thing print overnight. And as you can see, it is now complete. It took approximately about four hours and 16 minutes to do this sample print. And we're gonna take a look at what the results look like. So again, I'm going to put on my gloves. Take this lid off. And then we're going to unscrew the print head or the print bed. Right, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get the alcohol ready. We'll get this alcohol bath ready for it. And we'll go ahead and just dip this in there so it can clean it. And just wash off this resin, the excess resin. Let the alcohol fall off of it. And the support, the supports came off pretty easy on this thing. So we'll just rinse this off some more. Okay, so as you can see, the 3D print turned out pretty nicely. It's pretty detailed. I mean, it's not the same as a 4K um, resin printer, the results. Um, but as you can see, it is pretty detailed. The, the texture and the lines within the mane of the lion looks really good. You can see the muscle tone and everything. And then the print itself just turned out very smooth and solid. You hardly see if any, any imperfections on it at all. Uh, so as you can see, it turned out really nice. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with this, especially because this is a low budget printer. You know, it turned out very nicely and turned out very well. So print wise, I'd say the sample print is a success. Now it'll probably look even better once I cure it using uh, my curing machine, but overall, I think just post print itself, the print itself turned out very well, very nice. Okay, so with that completed, all that's there to do now is to just remove the supports from the print build plate itself. Just wipe off the build plate because we've already pretty much cleaned it with the alcohol, which dries super fast. And then put it back onto the printer itself. And as you can see in the vet, you know, there is still some resin left, actually plenty of resin left to do probably two or three more prints. So that's it. So what do I think about this printer overall? Now there is actually one other feature that I noticed after completing the print itself. And that feature is on the resin tray itself. If you look at the resin tray, on one corner is actually a cutout that allows you to actually pour the excess resin back into the resin jar without any issues. 
So I think that's quite a unique little feature that was built into this which makes things just a little bit simpler. So definitely another well thought out feature of this 3D printer itself. From a pricing perspective, I definitely do think if you're in the market for an entry level 3D resin printer and you're new to the whole 3D printing um, hobby, then I definitely recommend this, especially because this printer does come in at under $100. Um, so pretty much affordable for most people who could potentially be interested in this hobby. Uh, it works well. I'd say the quality of the products and the parts and the components is absolutely identical to those higher end um, units that you would buy. It's got a good build volume for small items and little uh, knickknacks and, and toys and things, figurines that most people use these resin printers for. Um, and it's got a good and easy to use interface as well as a good colored display to let you know what's going on. Uh, overall, I think from a, a quality perspective, it prints very well. Uh, the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, given that it is a 2K printer. Um, but overall, I think it's worth it, especially from a pricing perspective. Now, if you're someone who's looking for a bigger build size or speed over the price, then this probably won't be the printer for you. But if you are someone who is starting out in the hobby and just wants to print little figurines, statues, and small um, 3D prints, then this is definitely worth it and something that I would recommend, especially if you are a beginner. Anyways, that is my unboxing and initial impressions of this LK 3D resin printer from GTech. Now, if you are interested in purchasing this printer for yourself, GTech currently does have a huge discount on their website for this product, which I'll leave a link to in the description section below, as well as a lot of their other products on their website. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you've got one of these for yourself or if you're planning to buy one, let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Please also make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Until next time, see ya.